Hello everybody, I'm Sarah and I'm a recorder player. Today I am somewhere very special. I am in the factory of AFAB and that is a recorder centre company and this is the place where they build recorders for all different makes. I thought it would be really interesting to take you behind the scenes and show you how a recorder is made in a factory and the guys here at AFAB were kind enough to show me around. This recorder factory has already existed for around 70 years I can't imagine how many recorders have passed through here. So today we're going to look at how you build a school soprano. Obviously every type of recorder is going to be built in a different way. There are some makers that use machines, some that don't. So this is how they make the study recorders. And the eventual finished product is going to look like this. factory of AFAB recorders with Anton who has really kindly offered to show us around the factory and show us how we get from a block of wood to this soprano recorder. Anton you've worked here already for how long? 40 years. 40 years, wow. Mm -hmm. And who did you learn the craft of making recorders? Uh, most of course not himself. Okay, wow. Mm -hmm. Oh it's an honour to be here. Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to start by looking upstairs where the wood is kept. So what kind of wood is this? This is uh, pear wood. Pear wood? This is uh, for soprano and the most used wood you have. And who out? Is this uh, Palisander? The Palisander? Yeah. Yeah, I have 120 years old. 120 years. Wood needs to dry out for years before it can be made into a recorder, otherwise it can warp. At AFAB they help this process in this special drying room, where wood is dried for days at 35 degrees, and the moist air leaves through this window. So this is pear wood, and at the moment it's sitting here, it's been sawn into kind of square, rectangular blocks. And then what's the next thing that happens with it? You take a square piece of wood, mm -hmm. you put it in the machine and it goes square in and come around. Oh. So... And then it falls down. Whoa! <laughs> so when the wood is sawn into a cylinder, it falls down here and comes out. That's where it came from. So now these cylinders of wood are going to be sawn into head joints. So we now have a stick of wood and this is going to become the head joint of a recorder. We're actually going to boil this in paraffin. This is to make sure that the density of the wood is the same all the way through and it makes the wood a lot easier to work with. And they're actually really different weight. This has not been boiled in paraffin and this has. And this one is much heavier. After 24 hours in the paraffin vat, the wood is ready to be drilled. Now we're going to drill a hole in the record, okay. in the piece of wood. the recorder has to be conical so now it's going to get drilled with this very specially sized drill the shavings of this are so thin now we turn the head joint of the recorder so the wood rotates extremely fast and those sharp things come out and cut it to exactly the right shape. And that is my explanation of turning. Then the same thing happens on a different machine with the under joint of the recorder. <laughs> At this point it was so cool to see something that really looked like an instrument emerging from this block of wood.
then another machine drilled the end of the under joint to make it rounded and the next step was to sand the whole thing. So this is the instrument that drills the holes. There are 11 drills arranged in kind of a circle and each one is set in exact measurements. And this was done by a very long process of elimination, by trying it, playing a recorder, making tiny adjustments. And you fill the machine with, I think, 11 recorders and then they all get done at the same time. except something else has to happen. Okay, we're getting started on the head joint. The first thing is drilling the first hole for the labium of the recorder. This is the quickest part of the whole process. Square corners. You wouldn't know it, but that's one of the most important parts. Then this machine goes in and basically jabs the windway into the recorder. And we've got a windway! Then this terrifying looking machine carves the labium, which is the hole that produces the sound. And every recorder is then finished separately by hand. So the inside parts of the recorder are so important, they can be so tiny, but they make all the difference in the sound. Um, there are two kind of diagonal edges and they're called the chamfers and they have to be exact. And that's what we're going to make now. And that's it. Hey. Okay, we're almost there, but that hole has to be filled with a block. So Anton is here with a pile of blocks. The first thing he's going to do is feel and listen if the wood grain goes the right way. That one didn't, so he throws it away. This next one he's going to test out. And yes, yeah. it's good. So then we use this machine to carve the chamfer, the diagonal edge that directs the sound. There we go, we've got a chamfer. Now we put the block into the recorder and use this machine to push it in properly. Set. This is almost the last step. <laughs> That's a recorder. So there we go, that's it, that's the finished recorder. Oh wow, so how long did it take to make this? Maybe 10, ten minutes. 10 minutes? Yeah. Wow, and how many recorders do you make every day? I can say that, because you make a pass. Uh, yeah, so many head joints, so many foot joints, so many middle joints. Yeah, so it can, goes more in batches. Yeah. This, yeah. this is difficult to say. So this was the process of making a soprano recorder in the iFab factory. It has been so cool to see how this works. If you are in the Netherlands, do go to Utrecht and visit iFab. You can try all of the instruments. It's such a cool place to be. As always, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link down here below with my face on it. And up here you can find a link to the other video I made at iFab, which is how do I know which recorder to buy? Thank you for watching and have a great day.